Talking uh, first and foremost about global growth, this is something that affects you, uh, you, the airlines in the IATA directly, of course, and we're on the verge of a, a, a new rate cutting cycle from the ECB and the Fed, at least that's what ex is expected, because they feel global growth has slowed too much. Do you see that as well? Um, you know, we have published our forecast in June during our last AGM, and our forecasts in June were lower than our forecast in January. So we, we have seen a decline in the number of passengers. If, even if this number is still positive, the growth is still positive, it has declined. And we have seen a significant drop in the cargo, which means that the international trade uh, growth is has stopped due to trade wars, protectionist measures, and uh, that was the most um, worrisome uh, event that we, that we have to face in terms of growth of our market. So the trade wars are basically slowing down growth for the airline, airlines that you represent. Um, what's the relation? If we get a boost, you know, if these uh, interest rate cuts work and we get global growth running again, what's the relation in terms of an increase in cargo and passengers to IATA members? Usually, uh, we are a multiple by 1.5 or 2 of the GDP growth. Uh, uh, to uh, you multiply by 1.5 to 2 to have the uh, the demand in the passenger, and usually the cargo market. So uh, it means that the mo more, GP, more GDP growth we have, the uh, the the faster the mar uh, the, the uh, aviation market grows. So that's been one issue, uh, one geopolitical issue. How have the changes in weather been for the airlines that you represent? I mean, we see more and more extreme climate. It, today it's very hot. We're looking at heat waves across Europe. Um, you know, a few months ago there were a lot of storms that were canceling flights. Has this increased? But, you know, what we, what we must be aware of is the aviation industry is heavily impacted by, by weather forecasts every day. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a concern uh, because you have a storm, because it's too hot, because, uh, because it's too cold, because we have icing. So the weather is an important concern. But more broadly, you know, this industry is the only one in the world to have started 10 years ago to implement uh, a, a, an enormous, gigantic program to reduce the carbon footprint of this industry. So we have committed to reduce the CO2 emission per passenger. We have done it successfully. In 2020, we will start a carbon neutral growth, which is an very ambitious, knowing that we will double, even quadruple the number of passengers in the coming 30 years. And in 2050, we will have reduced our CO2 emission by 50% compared to 2005. But so why, why are, are we seeing very, very ambitious? Why are we seeing airlines then uh, Ryanair, which I, I believe is not a member of the IATA, and not, no, nonetheless, no. Uh, was just added to a list of the 10 biggest uh, emissions polluters inside the borders of Europe. Because what is true is that we are uh, uh, emitting CO2. We represent something like slightly more than 2% of the CO2 emission. So. We emit CO2, but we are not a big uh, polluter. But among the airline industry, we were so convinced that it was absolutely necessary to protect the planet, plus that it was our interest, that 10 years ago we launched this program, a worldwide program to reduce our carbon footprint. And that is a mix of strong conviction, we have to protect the planet, and our interest, because we, we felt that probably public opinion would, would become you know, open Argument. Well, we do see in Scandinavia there's flight yep. shaming, um, uh, as well as uh, concerns about you know carbon footprints. What do you think about the um, effect then of an eco tax? It's been talked about by a lot of people. I was reading about in the UK a couple of days ago. In France, they're talking about it here mm -hmm. as well. A tax on airlines kerosene use. But we we are not in favor of tax because for two reasons. First of all, we say that nowhere a tax has significantly modified the behavior of consumer of producers. It's other uh, uh, elements that modify this behavior, uh, uh, a regulatory constraint, uh, the, a shift in the, in the market, but a tax, it, ne it never works. Secondly, it will be paid by the passenger, so it will increase the price of air tickets, and at the same moment as the air transport is becoming a very democratic way 
of, of traveling. It's not anymore the industry for the wealthy people. It's, an, it's a, a way to travel for everyone. And, and that's nice because we connect people, we connect cultures, we, we allow trade to develop, we, um, we, we allow business to develop. We are a very, very strong uh, tool to bring prosperity and openness, and we are proud of that. And we consider that it's our duty to reduce our carbon footprint. No industry on this planet has done more than we are doing now, asking government to be regulated successfully, reducing our carbon footprint successfully. And we will make it.